Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Dallas aka Inferness. Thank you so much for clicking this video and welcome back to another tutorial. And in this tutorial, well, we're going to be doing MC Edit because a long time ago I did an MC Edit tutorial on 1.9. So, um, well, it was originally for 1.8, but this one is for 1.10. So, uh, yeah, here's MC Edit and basically, um, MC Edit is a program for you to, um, edit the layout of your Minecraft world. So go ahead and select your Minecraft world right here. Um, the newer layout is a lot more confusing. Lots of people have been saying it's more confusing, but this is not really that new anymore. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, check out some random world that I've built. So um, for this, uh, let me see. Um, I guess I'll just do um, this one. Uh, let it render for a little bit, uh, so you can see the overlay of the world. Then you go down here and press edit. Okay, so this is the world, and as you can see. Uh, there's a lot of purple blocks here because this is um, kind of an older MC edit so therefore these blocks are not currently registered in the MC edit so uh, it's gonna be translated as purple all right uh, and there's my character right there so basic tutorial on MC edit uh, if you want to select the texture pack you're gonna go up into the top um, corner obviously I didn't do that so um, but on the title screen you can go ahead and do that it's uh, right on the top uh, you can short on to see any texture packs you have installed. So here is the world, right? Alright, so now I'm going to go over the basics of pretty much everything you want to do when you're uh, using the VMC edits. So, um, essentially, uh, MC edit is run off of Java, right? So, uh, the only way for this to save is if you don't have Minecraft open. Do not have Minecraft open because that also runs off Java. Um, so go ahead and you can go ahead and do that. I'll give you a couple seconds. Um, just kidding. Okay, so uh, we're getting started now. Let's say you want to select like one structure and you want to export that structure. Um, well, uh, basically you're going to want to select one area of land. So for example, this plane, right? You're gonna um, left click and then um, scroll that over to here, as you can see, um, and make sure it covers the entire area of the structure that you want. And then click on the actual thing and then just drag it up so you're selecting the entire 3d sprite okay um and now that the whole thing is selected you can go ahead and go to export so um let's see if we can find the export here it is import and export right up here click that um export schematic and then here's my schematics folder uh you could just put that into your schematics directory and then press save and then you have your schematic and then once you're in your um, your world that you want to import the schematic into, just press import, go to import, and then you find the schematic you want, and then you just drag it in there, and then it should appear right here, and you can just place it wherever you want. So that is schematics. Um, that's basically the main tool you can use in MC Edit. With the move option, you can go ahead and um, move anything that you have selected right here in the um, settings. So you can go ahead and move this. Uh, you can create a duplicate of it as well. Uh, move it to the right. Uh, hold on, if we could just go over here. You can move it up into the sky as well. So let, let's move that right there. Um, so now we have two of them. Uh, that's also in the move option. Uh, so we have our little awesome plane going on in the background. Uh, and there's another one. It's about to crash. And uh, everyone's going to die and scream. Um, but we could uh, move this. Like, for example, we want to make this go way up there. Like, whoa, it's high in the sky. And then uh, the wheels are gone because I didn't get the wheels. Oh, why isn't it selected anymore? Oh, great. Well, I didn't get the wheels, but anyways, you get the point. So, yeah, you can uh, go ahead and select the entire thing. Uh, why is there two things up there? What is that? Is there two players? What? There's two There's two players. Oh, that's not normal. Okay, there's a ghost. There's a ghost, and then there's me. So, uh, don't listen to that guy. He's uh, insane. Um, and then there's this. Uh, the plane. Uh, that's a really bad plane. No offense. <laughs> um, why is it burning? Oh, it's crashing. Oh, great. How lovely. That's just a lovely picture. Um, but anyways, back to the actual tutorial. Uh, we can still move this around if we want. Uh, we can go all the way over here, all the way down there. All the way... Let's make a crash into the control tower. Uh, just kidding. Uh, that'd be a little bit um, too much. So um, <laughs> let's just have this flying. Uh, how about maybe taking off? Uh, make this taking off. Um, take it off right there. Oh, there's a jet. There's a jet right there. There's a jet. There's a jet right there. There's a jet. Lovely jet. Okay, uh, make this ticking off, like, right here. Oh. Uh-oh. Where did I, I put that somewhere? I put that underground. Oh, no. Anyways. Um, so, yeah. It's now underground somewhere, but that's okay. So, um, alright. So, let's go ahead and select something else. 
Uh, we have the clone tool. I guess you guys can imagine what that is. Uh, you just make a clone of it, as you can see. Um, you could also move it. It's basically the exact same thing as the move tool. So keep that in mind. Uh, make this. We have a second chance. Let's go up and try this one more time. Um, wh why is the player moving? Okay. There's two people moving in the sky right now, and that's not normal. Let's just put this, like, right here. You know what? Screw this, then fine. Put it right here. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, God. No. Up here. Shoot. I'm just really bad. I'm just really bad at this. Fantastic. Why am I moving this way? What is going on? Okay, there we go. Um, all right. So now that we have our... Uh, can we just not do this, please? Thank you. Um, I'm going to be showing you some other tools because there's, like... Let me see. Let me count that. There's, there's, there's nine main tools. Brush, uh, essentially. Once you click on the brush thing, you can uh, change the shape of the brush. Make a circle. Uh, making circles. Um, you could select it's select this. Select the whole thing. There we go. Uh, they have the brush thing. Basically, it selects these outer blocks. Um, you can go ahead and uh, change the x-axis. This is kind of like nudging. You know, in the old MC edit, they called it nudging. But uh, now it's like kind of considered the X axis um, or the Y or the Y axis. Change that. Um, and you could just make it go up just in case you missed. Um, so that is brush. Um, so this way you can get the exact measurements of what you want. Then um, clone, you can clone this. Obviously, it's just air, so it doesn't matter. I didn't get this area down here, so it's not going to clone that. Uh, but then you could just um, do control D deselect everything and um well they they have it you have your little plane going on right there okay now flood flooding all right flood this is the cool part now you can go ahead and do this i know it's a little bit overwhelming what what just happened so basically what i did was i just took all this stuff that was over here and i moved it over here isn't that fun you can go ahead and make copies of things it's kind of like importing things like this go ahead and import except you could literally do it inside the game without having to exit to a different world so i found that really nice um even though it looks absolutely horrible now um i think it's great control deselect and uh wow look at that masterpiece look what we've done that is beautiful um now we can click generate okay over on the top bar you could see some of the blocks and uh you can click the toggle to see like the different things like like the, um, you know, you could see the different entities in the world and the chunks and the heights of the map and the places where creepers can spot, whatever. And um, you can go ahead and do that. Um, so this is a 2D sp uh, perspective. You can't really move around this, obviously, but um, it's kind of good for taking pictures. Oh, man, you can go under the ground. How could I forget? Um, but let's not do that. That's kind of weird. Um, okay, so let's uh, quickly zoom out. Let me see edit maps. Whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, let's just close out of this. Um, that's basically to change the world. You can get the world info. Um, you can see the title. You can see kind of the, the seed and the, um, the level that everything is built on. Um, you can see um, the more complex data like this. Um, like the actual game rules and like for servers and stuff. Um, you can change the difficulty. You can change the uh, settings for the game mode so even if it's like a do not change game mode thing you could change it through here so it's kind of like a neat uh com command thing you know commands and the bloody commands change the world change the time of day you can make it nighttime oh look how pretty it is it's night and you can change the brightness oh it's bright oh it's dark oh it's a little bit bright okay great i'll leave it right there and um right so um let me see, uh, oh, what have I done? What have I done? Oh God, I did not even see that. <laughs> no, what have I done? I made like five planes. Oh, uh, I guess it looks cool. It looks kind of cool. Um, I forgot to tell you that was the clone option. That is what the clone option does. Well, apparently there is absolutely no living things on this entire map, so I cannot show you the inspect entity thing, but essentially you have this selected and then you just go ahead and select whatever living thing that you want or interactable object. And then you can modify it through the MC edit and you could show um, what is this? Is this a bumblebee? A bumblebee plane. Okay, um, and you can basically edit the, uh, object. You can make it kind of like a custom NPC or NCP. NPC, I'm so sorry if I just did that wrong. Um, but you, you know what I'm saying. All right, you, you, you get it. Inspect block. It's the exact same thing with inspect entity. Um, the only thing is you could just do it with blocks. 
for example, this tiny little piece of fabulous glowstone. I want to inspect that. Um, so over here we have our um, properties of the block. Block name is glowstone. Um, block ID 89. Block light 15. Um, I do believe that the normal block light from any like Minecraft thing is like, let's see, it's zero, right? I think. Uh, let's see. What about torches? Uh, let's go up and see if we can find a torch. Uh, torches, right. Um, so where are the torches? Block ID. Torch. There we go. That's a 14 block light, so it's a little bit less than um, than uh, the glowstone. And uh, the skylight is 15, so you can't see it. It doesn't make any difference. Oh, no. Why is it doing this? Go. Stop. Bloody thing, I swear. All right, here. Stop. There we go. This. Block light. It's unknown. It doesn't know. What is it? It's snowy? False. Minecraft? Grass. Block name? Grass. This is grass. Why is it not seen? This is grass. How do you not recognize grass? It looks ugly with the pink. God. All right, and once you press uh, the over thing right here, um, you can go ahead and take a quick overview of what your entire world looks like from a 2D perspective. As you can see, we have some right here, and uh, 2D, basically the exact same thing. Um, if we could just, I don't know. I don't know, what what's going on? Um, okay, I don't know what that did exactly. Um, pardon me. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is what happens. Uh, when you have no idea what you're doing. Here we have the actual world layout. You go ahead and take a screenshot of this, post the planet Minecraft, and be all like, hey guys, look at my world. By the way, I don't own this world, so please do not think that I own this world, because I don't. Um, then Cam. Back to Cam. Whoops, that's not what I want. Select. There we go. That's better. All right, nice. Select. Great. Um, we have our five plane or four planes right here. We just copied and pasted across the map. Um, looking great. Um, you can uh, do over again. There's the planes. Uh, nice and lovely little things here. Um, you have a compass right there. Uh, you can edit the player. Um, by the way, my name my name is uh, not Glass Zombie. That's just the thing I'm using for this. Um, camera to player's view. There you go. You can switch that. Now, obviously, we we'll just do cam after this. Screw that. Go away, please. Thank you. Um, go away. And uh, there you go. This is what the player sees. Um, let's scroll out of here for a second. There you are. There's my friend. Wait, where am I? I can't see myself. All right, wait. This is a really cool thing. History, basically, if you um screw up and there's no more undo for it for some reason, you just go back to it in the history. So, yeah, it's great. Um, so, I think I've basically gone over the exact things of what MC Edit offers. Um, the basics, like, um, like import, export, um, and all the main things right here on the side. Uh, and once you're done, you could just go ahead and press save. And then you could click out of the MC Edit and start up your Java Minecraft. By the way, all these other options right here, these are all complex. Um, not going to have time to go over all of them. So you can go ahead and experiment with these. I always leave you guys something to experiment with um, in my videos after I've done them. So go ahead and do that. But these are the basics. Thank you all so much for watching. And uh, this is everything you would ever need to do in MC Edit. So, monster locations. Where are the monsters? Where are the monsters? Well, that's a bat. Okay, well that's edit entity. That's edit the entity. Remove. You can click that. No more bats. Um, scroll down here. Where where's the entity? Ah, there's an entity right here. More bats. Is that a bat? That's another bat. Remove entity. You don't got no bat friends anymore. Okay, and that's basically the edit entity. It's the same exact thing as edit the block. So yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Dallas. AKA Infernus, Aka Infernus. Thank you so much for the view, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.